Hello there, my fellow hardy mountain folk, and welcome back to another video about the lore of the Warhammer Dwarves. In the previous episode, I did get started on the formidable armies of these fellows. We talked about how they gather for war, and about their warriors and even miners. Today, just like I promised, we will continue with this topic and talk about their more elite units of heavily armored infantry. These will include the Longbeards, the Iron Breakers, the Iron Drakes, and the Hammerers. I'm your host, for today the Dawi Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? The Longbeards Dwarf Longbeards are the oldest and most battle-hardened warriors in a Dwarven army. Highly prestigious individuals, these Longbeards garner great respect within a Dwarven stronghold, and are often chosen to be the leaders and advisors of many domestic issues and military campaigns. Only a Dwarf who has reached the age of 500, or has a beard that is touching the very floor, will be readily considered a Longbeard. This ensures that they receive the proper respect from other, younger dwarves, who have been taught from an early age, quite rightly so, to always respect their elders, and listen to their well-earned wisdom. Indeed, for it is true that the Longbeards have fought in many wars, beaten more foes, and endured greater hardships than any young dwarf could imagine. They constantly grumble about how today's goblins are far smaller and weaker than they used to be, and how nothing is as well made as it was in their day. So basically, just like human old people. No young dwarf would ever dare argue with them, for they indeed have the experience, and most importantly, the beard to prove it. Should the kingdom of the dwarves come under siege by their most hated of enemies, the Longbeards would be the first to take command. Equipped with some of the most well-crafted dwarven armor and weapons within their clan, they muster into their own regiments of crack heavy infantry. In battle, the Longbeards are able to demonstrate their time one skill, showing little regard for even the smallest shifts in fortune that would throw a less experienced warrior into confusion and also enduring punishments that would break the mighty resolve of even another dwarf. Such is their inspiring presence on the battlefield, that the Longbeards provide the army a reliable anchor, which holds the rest of the units together. With the stern gaze of the Longbeards upon them, the dwarven warriors are far less keener to falter against the enemy, and fight ever harder to prove their worth in the eyes of their elders. The Iron Breakers Most of the Karaz Ankor, or the Kingdom of the Dwarves, lies beneath the surface of the world, from the towering vaults and labyrinthine galleries of the holds to the endless tunnels of the underway. Adjoining these are the shafts of countless mines sunk deep in the bottomless dark. Many of these passages have been infiltrated, penetrated by the gnaw tunnels of the Skaven, or the mushroom-filled holes of the Night Goblins. The blackness of the underworld is also home to other monsters, crawling horrors and slinking beasts unknown to the surface dwellers. The dwarves barricade intrusive passageways and build gates to block intrusions from below, but even so, constant vigilance is always needed. To safeguard the deepest and most dangerous of the passages, the dwarves call upon the Iron Breakers. In these dark places, ambush and rockfall are commonplace hazards, and survival is often dependent on wearing the right armor. Accordingly, Iron Breakers wear fine suits of Gromril armor, crafted by the smiths of the hold and worn as a badge of honor by this select band of warriors. They stand resolute, barring danger from advancing past their post. It is an honor to be selected to join the Iron Breakers, for they are trusted to protect the hold's most vulnerable entrances. Only the strongest and the bravest are accepted into the ranks, but the dark offers no vain glory, and those warriors who choose a path of greater ambition must instead seek out the Hammerers. To serve as an Iron Breaker, a dwarf must take vows to stand bold, 
even if no king, lord or thane is nearby. Behind and above him are the beardlings, the treasure troves, the ancestral tombs, and the very holes that the forefathers carved out of the rock. Before and below an iron breaker will only be the dark, the all-consuming blackness hungering to grasp everything into its clutches. Iron breakers are trained to fight in tight formation, wedged into the confines of a narrow tunnel. There, they find defensible positions and let the enemy break upon their overlapping shields, as waves crash into rock. Impervious, implacable, and unmoving, they form a living line, Gromril Hard, that holds back the flood of terror lurking in the dark below. Enemies fall before their axes like winter wheat before the scythe, and blows clang harmlessly off their nigh impervious armor. Every regiment of iron breakers will have a veteran, a grizzled unit leader known as an iron beard, who knows the under tunnels like the back of his hand. It is an iron beard's duty to maneuver the unit into a favorable position and then call out battle formations, such as the box of iron, the steel square, and so on. Such is the reputation of the Iron Breakers that they will often be called upon to fight on the surface, when the full might of a throng is gathered. But for each battle in the sunlight, an Iron Breaker will have fought a dozen in the dark deeps beneath the mountain. Some Iron Breakers also carry cinder blast bombs, which are small grenades thrown by hand, whose shrapnel is especially deadly in a close confine. The Iron Drakes the Dwarf Iron Drakes are those dwarves within an Iron Breaker regiment who are trained in the use of the deadly fire-spewing Drake Gun. This is a powerful and ingenious weapon which showers the enemy with a wave of white-hot alchemic fire. The creation of the Drake Gun came about when the bitter underground wars that the dwarves fought daily have begun to evolve into a new level of intensity as their enemies began to discover diabolical ways to break a stronghold's already formidable defenders. However, the dwarves' stout defiance and powerful rune weapons and armor have turned back the tide time and again. Beaten but unbroken, their enemies have adapted, and in response to the heavily armored iron breakers, the Skaven began deploying teams of warpfire throwers or globadiers as a countermeasure. The Night Goblins, on the other hand, would send in mobs of fanatics or trolls to punch a hole in their line. In response to all of this, the dwarf engineers of Zufbar invented new weapons which can deter these countermeasures with blazing efficiency. The Drake Gun was one such invention, a weapon so powerful that once it is fired, the entire tunnel will be lit with alchemic fire that will burn for many hours afterwards. Such a weapon allowed the Iron Breakers to cut off key positions within the tunnels beneath a hold, from a much more superior threat. Iron Breakers who showed an aptitude with the Drake Gun were then further trained and formed into new units. When first used, even the Gromril armor of the Iron Breakers struggled to protect the dwarves against the intense heat generated by the weapon. In response, runesmiths have begun to imbue new armored suits with runes of protection against heat, enabling the iron breakers to endure the heat of their own weapons and those warpfire throwers sent by the Skaven. In combat, when confronted by a foe capable of breaking through a wall of iron breakers, a new fighting tactic was developed. Iron breakers would open ranks to allow the iron drakes to file past. With well-drilled precision and the barking orders of an Iron Warden, the darkness of the tunnels was illuminated by Molten Fire Blast. The stalwart dwarves blaze away as the attackers fall in their dozens and hundreds, their crumpled bodies smoking burning holes in their flesh. And finally, for today, the Hammerers. Dwarf Hammerers form a Dwarven King's personal bodyguard chosen by the king himself. They are individuals from different units, and maybe even different clans, who have proven themselves in uncountable battles, showing not just great strength and deadly martial prowess, but also steadfast loyalty and a bold and courageous nature. 
They are formed into a hard-hitting shock unit, a force capable of breaking enemy formations the way a heavy warhammer crushes shale. In addition to being a formidable fighting unit, the Hammerers, like I said, are often used as a Thane or Lord's personal bodyguard. Duty to their liege is sacred to the Dwarves. An individual bound by oath to his Lord will fight all the harder, and for the leader of the throng, a Hammerer will gladly give his own life rather than face the dishonor of failure. A king surrounded by his hammerers is the keep in the center of a dwarven throng. Grim and unyielding, a living personification of the indomitable dwarven spirit. Of course, this allegiance goes both ways. And it is a lord's duty to properly equip these hand-picked units and to seal the oath between them. The symbol of the bond between a lord and his hammerers is in the very weapon they carry. Each one is given a heavy, but perfectly balanced, great warhammer, which is often made of gromril. Outfitted in heavy, well-polished dwarven mail, hammerers wade into combat wielding their mighty weapons. They swing their hammers in sweeping arcs, hitting their enemies with such vigor that only enchanted mail or hell-forged armor can withstand the force of the blow. With a cracking and crumpling, the whirling hammerheads send up gory debris, as splintered shields, cracked bits of armor, and even heads or limbs of the enemy are thrown into the air by the force of the impact. Dwarf battle lines have been known to cheer at the sight of the great hammers rising and falling around the king's banner. As some of the most elite warriors, hammerers enjoy a high status within the hold. When not personally shielding their fane or king, they are charged with guarding key elements, such as the throne room or the front gate. Large strongholds will have multiple regiments of hammerers, and these often became known by the name of what or whom they guard. Examples of this include the Peak Gate Guard of Karak Norn, or the Drakebeard Guard, the hammerers assigned to guard Fain Ul Hammerhand of the Drakebeard clan in Karak Kadren. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the dwarves and their most elite veteran infantry for today. Are you a fan of the Iron Breakers or the Hammerers? Which one of the units I described today did you enjoy most? Feel free to let us know and discuss that in the comments below. My dwarf videos don't really get a lot of views, but if you guys enjoy this one, I will talk about their artillery or ranged units next. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for future content. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you all an awesome day. The blessings of Grimnir, Grungni, and Valea be upon you.